Hello everyone, hello everybody. My name is JS, but Shu may call me game. And welcome. So I'm here in the midst of a mine. It's a pretty deep mine. I've done a lot of exploring. I know I'm missing a ton of ores before anyone goes on a tangent with that. <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Also, I think the durability on a diamond pickaxe has increased. Now I gotta quickly get my NEI back up, so hang on. That's better. Um, just wanted to show you guys how you get the uh, little thing at the top there that shows you what you're looking at. So, yeah, that's a little extra thing this episode. Uh, you go to options, you gotta go to highlight tips and put it on shown. Now, everything will be more or less shown. I think there's a few screw ups still with things. And I'm more or less down here just to get stuff like uh, silver, lead, gold, maybe a bit of iron here and there. But I'm also just scouting around for lava, which I've found a good bit of. And I'm going to need it for later. You guys find out. You guys will definitely find out. Um, what's up here? Ooh, more cave that I haven't explored. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's dead end. Alright, I'm going to head back to the base now. And I'm going to continue with what I was doing last session, which was... Developing my little, uh, mm, ore doubling facility. So I will head uh, over there and do that. Okay, so I'm back and I'm just uh, putting in the ore so I can show you guys that I had to make another chest. Oh. Uh, oh. This is basically my refined and gems chest. <clears throat> so any ingots I have, I'm going to put the uranium in there too. Any uh, sort of ingots and stuff that I have are going to be put in here. And little bits like that. <clears throat> Let's just put you in here. And here with all this crap. So yeah, I did some uh, pulverizing, as you guys just saw in that little chest here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to improve this little system here. Now you see how it requires water? Yeah. How am I going to make that work? So that I don't have to keep filling it up. Well, there's actually two ways to do that. Well, the first way is a pump, which is a method, but it's not extremely efficient. And then the second one is, I think it's an aqueous accumulator, but I can't. Oh, yep, I got it right. Yay. Wait, I don't know if I did. Hang on, I gotta check something. Okay, so I am correct. It is the thing that I need. Why is my mouse not working for a second? Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Okay, that was weird. That was really weird. What What the heck is going on with this mouse? God's sakes! Come on! Don't be Why are you spazzing out?! Come on, don't break now. God damn, hang on. Okay, as I was saying... Sorry about that. Uh, this basically acts as a permanent water bucket. You put it in water and it'll accumulate water. And that is what I need to make it. I need a machine frame. You guys know how, to, how I made that. Some glass and I need a bucket. That kind of sucks. I'm going to have to waste more iron. Um, because the only way is through that. However, I could... Wait. Wait. Assembling machine? Oh, hey, I don't even need the stupid hammer. Well, that's a no, because that's going to be expensive as balls. So I'm just going to... I'm going to need to smelt some of these ores and things. Oh, what else do I need? Uh, so it just sits there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need more iron for the pneumatic servo. Is that pneumatic or pneumatic? I'm going to say pneumatic. Okay, it's... God damn it. Okay, that's a really weird bug. Okay, this basically what you can do in 1.5 is you can do that. What? You can do the bug! For God's sake! Okay. I'm just gonna get this stuff smelted. I think I need more gold. And even if I don't, I should get this smelted. I need tin. We don't need as much. Let's get half a thing of redstone. Let's get 
I'm going to need to get some more charcoal and or sugar charcoal. Oh, I had some smelting, thank god. <laughs> now, by the way, these work for two items each. So if I want for this, I need 32. 32. Oh god, no. I, I can't use it for smelting. God's sakes. Okay, okay I'm going to need to cut these trees. Uh, I'm probably going to get... I'm going to see if I can get a woodcutting mod to work with this. Because... Oh, god damn it. It'll just be easier for me. Wait, if these smelt eight... If... Oh, I screwed up with that. I'm a dumb. Alright, guys, you heard it first. I am a dumb. Like I normally am. I, I thought it took two for per item. I'm very sorry. Uh, my brain isn't working today. I'm still gonna make charcoal though, because I need charcoal. Charcoal's very important. Now I'm gonna need glass. This, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna also need another thing, which are pipes. And I need a specific type of pipe. I need waterproof pipes. And I'll just use cobblestone waterproof pipes, so I need these. So those are very easy to make, just, uh... Now this is part of build craft. And basically, uh, they allow you to move stuff around. I'll show you the different kinds of pipes in a later episode, because there's, there's a good different, a lot, because there's a lot. Let me just pick these up. Now, I'm going to need waterproof pipes, and if I'm going to put it, uh, two, I'm going to put it there. Okay, so I need seven waterproofing, which is this thing here, and you can make this through that or cactus green so let's make some cactus green and i believe i have some in here i do now you only need seven and that's equivalent to four so one two three four all right i'm gonna let all this get, stuff get smelted and i'll see you guys in a quick second just wanted to show you that i um i'm decided to just turn this all into um, waterproof pipe because I'm going to need it for something else. And uh, with that I will be back. As I wait for it to smelt, let's make a bucket. Well I'm going to make a bucket. I'll make two actually, so in case I need another one. It sucks that this goes four times as fast. Why did they have to state it at 128? I, I don't understand. I guess it's because you can rotate blocks maybe or stuff like that but still that's kind of kind of stupid all right so let's just i'm just gonna wait for this to finish it's finishing up now which is good okay tin okay so shapeless so boom 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 then you put this with this and boom waterproof pipes and I'm going to need a bit of cobble and sticks for those gears. Do, 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 do. Wooden gears, our good friend. And then we make stone gears. And you make yourself some stone gears. They make yourself some tin gears. Now I need a pneumatic servo, which is iron, iron. Redstone, glass, glass, there we go. Gold, iron, 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 iron. Glass, glass, glass. Oh, I screwed that up. What? Oh, god damn it, I need steel. I keep forgetting. I, I always think it's iron, because that's what it normally is. That kind of sucks. <sighs> yeah. This is not good. Alright, I have everything. Machine frame, tin gears, bucket, servo, glass. And there we go, an aqueous accumulator. So, let's just uh, plop a U in the middle. Alright, now watch. See? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. Now with this, I'm going to just turn all these off. Now basically it only works on this. Now if I click this... Now it works from the side. Only want it to come from the top, and I'm gonna break this, and I'll put it back. 
and I'll show you guys this in motion. So water is going through the pipes, as you guys can see. And it's going, it's going, it's going, and now let's look in here. And uh, see, it's getting water. <clears throat> now this will not make it explode. So as you can see, it's draining, and this is gaining. But it keeps getting its water back because there's enough water around it. This gets water. This makes water based on the amount of water nearby. So it's actually quite good to have. And this is awful. And I am done. Alright, so that's that. Now, let's just put all my bars and stuff back. And I'll see you guys in a quick second. See if I need to show you anything else. I thought about it, and I think I might uh, show you guys what I'll be doing next episode, or in the next couple of episodes. The first thing is I'm going to try to get into some of the uh, IC2 stuff, but if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need a lot of other stuff. For example, I need this. Coal coke. And to make coal coke, you need a coke oven, and a coke oven... is a 3x3x3 three by three by three, which is hollow in the middle and I need bricks and sand. So it's gonna take a while. Now this is just more or less... What? Sandy brick up so neat. No. What? Okay, that's weird. But yeah, alright, so I'm gonna be making this. So that's uh, 26. So that multiply by 5 or multiply by 4 in terms of everything. So it's quite expensive to make in terms of that. I actually have a swamp near my house. So I should be good for both clay and sand. And I'm also going to be making this thing. Magmatic engines. And I'm also going to be making a magma crucible. Basically what these do is this is... One of these, basically, but it runs on lava, and this creates lava out of stuff. Now, this requires nether bricks, but that requires the nether, as far as I know. Let's check. Yep, it more or less requires the nether. By the way, if you guys didn't know, you can make nether bricks out of nether rack. But yeah, either way, I still need to go to the nether. And uh, in order for me to go to the nether, I'm going to have to put a nether portal down, and that basically means I'm going to keep a base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these ores, even these. These are actually really important, but I won't do these yet until later. But I'll do this, all of this stuff, blah, 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 and that's next time. Now the other thing. I don't want to go through this entire series to the end, and by the end I mean massive factory that can do whatever, primarily because of, of power. Now there's only two different kinds of, there's two kinds of power. You have um, fuel power, and then you have sort of clean power, basically. Solar panels are one of the, one of them. Uh, water mills is another one, and then you have windmills. Now, I can do water water mills just fine. It requires aluminum plates, and I'll show you guys how to, how to make some of these. Windmills, I can do fine, because those aren't torture. But a uh, solar panel, all right? This is what a solar panel requires. It requires two electronic circuits, a carbon plate, a glass pane, and two silicon plates. In order to make it, you also need to combine it with a variety of different kinds of uh, sort of core blocks. And I'll probably make it out of this, which is basically uh, refined iron plates. Wow. I'll make it out of something, basically. But... The attention really goes towards these. These require an industrial blast furnace, which require which is a non, it, which is basically a death sentence. I'm gonna have to have 
rows upon rows of stuff that are generating and storing energy to keep this damn thing, to keep this industrial blast furnace afloat. Because it's expensive as balls. Not only that, but this thing is expensive. Look at this. You need stuff. You need more stuff. I mean, what, what, how do you make this? You need rolling machines. And you need copper and all this other stuff. And it's insane. But the biggest downside with this is that it's just very expensive. Now, I'm going to go to the Twilight Forest at some point because that mod's in here. And you can see that by, if I type in steel, uh, steel leaf stuff, that's part of Twilight Forest, and I might explore that for a bit. But uh, as of right now, this series is done, and this is getting removed, because I can't take this. What the? Ooh, iridium ore, what do I use for this? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, I don't think this episode is quite long, actually, right now. I use it to make iridium ingots, and how do, and what do I use those for? Doesn't look like much at all, really. Um, what, what do I use this for? Iridium gears. Lock upgrades. Okay, I don't need to make those. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Why? Okay, so that's kind of expensive. What's an iridium gear for? I guess it's used for nothing. Okay. That's what I'm guessing from this. Oh, okay. Iridium alloy ingot. What do I use you for? Iridium plates, thank you. And what do I use Iridium plates for? Auto enchanter, auto spawner, auto anvil, just expensive stuff. Uh, oh yeah, the quantum suit. Fission upgrade kit, charge pad, energy flow circuits. Okay. So it's basically stuff that I'm never going to make. So that's that. I'll just put you in here next to your good friend, Mr. Uh, Uranium. Alright, I think that wrapped up this episode. Though, I kind of don't want to end it now. I, I think I'm missing stuff, though I'm not sure. But I, I will end it now. But yeah, um, tell me what you guys want me to do. Do you want me to go to the Twilight Forest? Do you want me to move base? Uh, I, I, I'm not going to continue this... I'm not going to continue this. Um, next episode, though, I will make a Coke oven. But if I'm going to do more advanced stuff, I'm going to have to either stay here a or move my base. And I really kind of don't want to because this way I have everything on hand. I'll see what you guys want me to do, though. So this has been this episode, episode four, I believe. So uh, peace out and uh, bye.